Jefferson County couple says they're feeling lucky to be alive after a terrifying motorcycle crash. WSMB's Joylyn Bukovac talked to the family as they recover from their injuries. What started as a fun Saturday of hiking turned into a nightmare for Cheyenne Brents and her husband Joe. They were riding their motorcycle back home along Port Royal Road and Tarleson Road in Robertson County when Joe swerved to avoid a truck driving straight at them. There was no space for us. He was just right in the middle of the road. And we just, we had to, I remember him pulling just really quick, having to like swing over. And then I remember the bike losing control. And then I just remember pain after that. Cheyenne was thrown into the road. Her husband landed in a nearby field. They both sustained multiple injuries. Cheyenne's thankful it was not worse. So grateful because when we showed up to that trauma ER, we were one of eight motorcycle accidents that day, and ours was definitely probably the better outcome than a lot of those. And I'm also grateful because we were inches from a tree. Cheyenne was discharged from the hospital on Friday, six days after the accident. Joe is still in the hospital recovering. He's going to be in a wheelchair, and his recovery is at least going to be a year or so or more, we're not sure. The couple is now urging drivers to be more cautious, especially as warmer weather brings more motorcyclists onto the road. It would be nice if people could be more aware, or less aggressive. I feel like there's an aggression towards motorcyclists here. She's asking drivers to give them plenty of space to navigate the road safely, avoiding potholes, gravel, and debris as needed. The impact of the crash is also affecting Cheyenne's livelihood. She runs a bakery out of her home. You know, I was just starting to get regular business, and then this happened, and now I'm, I don't know when I'm going to be able to work again. Reporting in Robertson County, I'm Draylen Bukovac, WSMB4.